on the block you're seeing, you get a better idea of what this fracture uh, lettering looks like. And one of the other nice things about this block is the letters are all intact. Many inks from the 1800s were iron-based or metallic-based. And in many cases, this, for, especially with iron, it rusted, then the, it just disappeared. It rotted away. So the, the owner of this quilt is very fortunate in that all these names are intact. Dye chemistry was iffy. And colorfast dyes and non-corrosive dyes were a source of great interest to people because you could make a fortune with them. The reds in this are what are called a raised print and the different colors are achieved through the use of different mordants and mordants create tooth in the cotton and then when the cotton is put through a dye bath the dye adheres better and then it's put through a steam process which quote unquote raises the color. Now, one of the things, too, about this quilt is this particular red was extremely color fast. Extremely. It's called Turkey Red. It did not originate in Turkey. It originated in India. And the reason it's called Turkey is because everything, Europeans considered anything east of Turkey to be Turkey. So India was east of Turkey, so they just called it Turkey. But these are favorite colors of many quilters from the 1800 because think about it nowadays. If, if you are a quilter and you make, you spend, you know, a year or whatever making a quilt and then all of a sudden the colors go away. And now we're going to go look at a quilt where just that happened.